everyone, it's Miss Amy, and it's Friday. So today, uh, because we have uh, rain coming this afternoon and uh, this uh, this weekend, and uh, we read uh, the big uh, Bruce's big storm this morning, um, and so uh, we're going to do a rainstorm craft activity. Uh, and uh, we're going to write a, an acrostic poem. So I want uh, to show you this really quick. So this is a great series. There are four in the series, one for each of the seasons. Um, and they're alphabet acrostics for each season by Stephen Sch uh, Schnur and uh, illustrated by Leslie Evans. And um, I want to read one to you so that you'll uh, get the idea. So uh, an acrostic poem is a poem of words or phrases that describe a topic word or the base word. So say the word is written vertically and each letter um, is written out and then each letter then you use for the beginning of each of your phrases or your words um, for the poem starting with that letter. So here's one, corn, and you can see C-O-R-N written down, and then it says, come October, only the harvested stalks remain in the fields as the nights turn frosty. Uh, and this one is uh, um, actually about a storm. Uh, so this is horse, H-O-R-S-E, and it's high on a windy hill the roan stallion snorts as he eyes the coming storm. Okay, so, and you can see that the beginning letter of each one of those um, sentences or phrases or parts of that poem start with the letters of, each of the letters of the word horse. So, we're going to do a rainstorm poem. Uh, an acrostic rainstorm poem. So, first we're going to build our um, our rainstorm. So, I have black paper. I have blue paper for the rain. I have white for the cloud and uh, for to write uh, the poem on. I have blue, uh, another color blue, and then I have yellow for lightning. So. Uh, first, I am going to, I'm going to fold this up like this so that I can cut out some, and I'm going to do it like this so that I have several, and I can cut them out all at once. It's a little harder to cut them out when they're all at once, so a raindrop is kind of a teardrop shape. So it's kind of like this. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out a bunch of raindrops just really quick. And I have a whole bunch all folded in together so that I get a whole bunch at once. Okay, so it's a cool technique to get a whole bunch. So here are a whole bunch of raindrops. So here's a bunch of raindrops that are all cut out. You can see that we have a bunch. There we go. Okay, so there's a bunch of raindrops. I can do some other raindrops too. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I am going to I'm going to make a cloud and I'm going to make my cloud puffy like this and I'm going to decorate my cloud a little. I'm going to go like this. So it's just, it's not just, just that. I'm just going to, and I'm going to use a small to give it some dimension and make it pretty and decorative. Okay, so there, 
is my cloud. Okay, so now I want to cut out my cloud, which then I will mount on my black paper. And your cloud can be all puffy, can be puffy on the bottom too. It could be, you can even make a gray cloud because it's the gray clouds that actually rain, not the white, pretty, puffy clouds that we see when it's, there we go. So I'm gonna do that. I've got drops like this. Some lightning, and I'm gonna put them all over on here. And okay, so lightning, I'm gonna do a couple pieces of lightning. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to fold it in half so I get more than one when I cut it out. I'm going to go zigzag, 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 zigzag. Okay, here's my lightning bolt. Remember, it's folded in half, so now I'm going to cut it out. And I get two at once. But by flipping it over, it's going to look different. So that it, even if you don't flip it over, it's still gonna be really cool um, and decorative because we want this to look like a storm. And then, look at this. Okay, ta -da. Like that. <coughs> okay, there is my lightning. And I can go like this, and then my lightning will look very different. I'm going to, I'm actually going to use, I think, I think I'm going to use this. I'm going to do a white piece of paper like that. Okay. And what I'm going to do, all right, so I'm going to put my cloud up here. I'm not going to do it yet because I want to write down rainstorm. So this is gonna be backwards. R, A, I, N, S, T, O, R, M. Okay, so it looks backwards because it is backwards, uh, because it's flipped around. So now what I'm going to do is write and think about things that have to do with rain. So um, like thunder or puddles or whatever. You could even brainstorm a list of words and then go back and use those words. So I'm going to do, let's see, rivulets of water. Falling down into puddles never stopping.
Okay, so I have my acrostic poem. And each beginning of my word starts with the first letter of my, uh, my rainstorm. So R, rivulets on water. A, all falling down. I, into puddles. N, never stopping. S, splashing around. T, torrential. O, over quick. R, running and roaring. M, muddy mess. Okay, so now I'm gonna actually trim that up. I like when I can kind of decorate my words as well. So I can do this. I can decorate my words all the way. And I'm gonna do this so it's not straight like that. I like it, so ta-da. Okay, so now I'm going to put that in the middle. And we're going to have this beautiful acrostic rainstorm poem. And it will be all decorated. So here we go. Here's my cloud. Love it. I'm going to put my here. I'm going to do my cloud so that it's like hanging off. And then I'm going to do some lightning. Like that. There's my lightning one. And then I'm going to do the second one right here. Oh, I like this. Oh, this is cool. Maybe some teachers will get inspired. Okay, now I'm going to put my drops of rain everywhere, all over drops of rain. And I'm just gonna decorate them everywhere. And I can put some all around like that. So, have fun creating your um, rainstorm acrostic poem and your uh, decorative, um, your decoration for the storm. So, I like it a lot. Really happy with that one. Thanks. Happy creating. Miss Amy.